Flickify is an AI video creation tool designed by Azoic, and I absolutely love it. If you have an Azoic account, you can create up to 100 videos each month with it completely for free. I've created 409 videos that have gotten over 1.2 million views and over 4,000 watch hours since March. Best of all, each video takes me less than five minutes to create. I'll be showing you all four ways to create videos today. However, if you're in a rush, you can skip ahead to number three. That creates the best quality videos in the shortest amount of time. The first step is to log into your Ezoic dashboard and then click Flickify icon on the menu. You can see it next to the red arrow on my screen. After that, you may need to accept the terms and conditions. This is the home screen for Flickify, and you'll be spending most of your time on this page. There are four ways to create a video with Flickify. The way most people try the tool is by typing a URL in this text field and then click generate. For me, this has been the least effective way of creating videos. I assume after most people try this, they don't even bother testing the other options. The main issue is that it simply doesn't summarize the text well. The videos spend too much time on headers and intros while skipping over the important parts or just paraphrasing the main content. The second way to create a video with Flickify is to upload an audio file. I create these free with Audacity. Here's a demo of me uploading a short dad joke. After dragging the audio file to the upload section, we get this screen where it asks for a title and description. Also, in the lower section, you'll see a place to enter a theme. I usually just leave this default and only change if it picks something that really feels off. For example, I don't want a picture of outer space if I'm talking about gardening. You also want to make sure that auto match is left on as this will add stock images and videos to your creation. Once you click create video, it will take less than a minute to parse the audio file and extract the words. You can add music by clicking the add track button and there are currently about 45 options. I always add music to the video as I think it increases watch time. The only downside to this method is that it requires creating the audio file first. It does, however, get around any checks for using AI voices since it's your actual human voice. The third way to create AI videos is the script generator. Here, you put in the title, the persona, which is who the speaker is, and your target audience. It will generate the text output that you can edit before pressing create video. As an example, let's have Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory tell a group of five-year-olds who the most talented Muppets are. Next, you have a chance to change the title, description, or theme like we've seen before. You always want to check the proposed title because sometimes I find it to be too creative for most people to understand what the video is about. This can take several minutes, but I just leave it up as a separate window while working on something else. Once it's complete, you can access the media library to overwrite any images you don't like. In this case, I'll change the first image to Kermit the Frog. Next, you want to click settings and change the voice. To listen to a voice, you can click the icon next to the name. Some voices are far better than others, so I recommend listening to several and then deciding on your one or two favorites. Lastly, you want to add the music track and then you can click preview and publish. The final way is how I created most of my videos, which is start from scratch. I really prefer the AI script editor, but most of my videos were generated before that was an option. When you start from scratch, you'll need to paste in the entire script and it will do all the steps exactly as it did for the AI script editor above. Previously, I would create the script with the chat GPT prompt that I'm displaying right now. I like that I can customize this prompt, but the downside is that it includes narrated instructions and often camera directions, which I have to edit out. Revising the script from ChatGPT was the most time consuming part for me, so I now exclusively use the AI script editor. You can create 100 videos each month. Remember, that number only decreases when you click publish. As long as you leave them in preview, it won't decrease your videos for the month, which means you can do a lot of practicing before you start going through your 100. There may be a bug around this though. Two times, the tool didn't seem to reset on the first of the month when I had zero left in queue. For this reason, I now always stop publishing videos once I hit 98 or 99 for the month. In the next video in the series, I'll demonstrate how to monetize these on the Humix network. Humix is awesome because it doesn't have the partner requirements like YouTube, so you can begin earning revenue with your very first upload. 
and it's paid out in the same account as your other Ezoic earnings. If you have any questions or comments about Ezoic, Humix, or Flickify, I'd love to hear them. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.